Hi guys. Thank you for coming uh, to my little recital today. Uh, thank you for taking up uh, some time on your Saturday afternoon. A um, couple of notes before we get started. I am live streaming this. Um, it's pretty far forward, but just in case you know, try to avoid getting in front of the camera. Um, there are uh, little granola bars outside um, for intermission if you would like. Um, please like eat out uh, out there. Uh, try and keep this place as clean as possible. Um, yeah, so just to give you guys a little bit of context for why I'm doing this, because I'm not a I'm not a professional performer. Um, I came to Ontario like five or six years ago, and I decided I wanted to keep taking music lessons. Uh, and I found uh, a, a wonderful, wonderful teacher named Isabella Budai. I was very, very lucky to have her for as long as I did. She passed away during the pandemic. Um, and we never really got to say goodbye. We never got to have a memorial. And so I just wanted to do a little, a little concert of the pieces that we did together and to celebrate the things that she taught me. So thank you all for coming to, to share in that with me. Um, the first piece I'm going to play is called Fantasy by Georgiou. And this was the first piece that Isabella and I ever worked together on. Uh, it was just something I had lying around um, when I started up lessons and she said, well, let's, let's just start with this. Thank you. 
to it, which I like.
just bear with us for a moment. Okay. Um, so the next piece I'm going to do uh, is called Maya. It is a duet. You can see somebody else up here with me. Uh, this is Eleanor Song. Uh, she uh, was also one of Isabella's students. And we played this together three years ago? Three yeah, years ago? Three. Yeah. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun to revisit it. I love this piece a lot. It's very pretty.
outside, get a breather, grab some water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.
Outside for a few minutes. It's really dark in here. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> the older you get. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we shall continue. Um, this next piece uh, is called Poem. Um, this is one that I learned a number of years ago. Really, really loved it, and just never got to play it. The stars never aligned, uh, and so I'm I'm really excited to have gotten to pull it out uh, and to actually get to perform it.
this next piece is just me. No piano. Um, so this one has a, a little bit more of a story behind it, um, because this is not a piece that I learned with Isabella. Um, I, um, so I'm from a rural area. I didn't have the opportunity to take lessons until I got to university, but just wasn't any blue teachers. Um, and so when I got to university, when I started taking music, all I'd ever known was band music. That was what I loved. And, you know, the solo stuff was fine. It was fine. Um, my teacher at the time, uh, Jen Clough, um, who I think is watching today, um, she asked me to learn this piece. And I took one look at it and went, mm -mm, nope, too many notes. There's no way. <laughs> She said, just try it, just try it. And so I tried it. And I remember as I was learning it, I would get to the end of a phrase and I would just start spontaneously jumping up and down because I could not contain within my body how much I loved it. This is still, I think, my favorite piece that I've ever played. Um, it is a ballad, a very, uh, very passionate ballad by an Argentinian composer named Astro Piazzolla. Um, just titled Tango with Two Number Four. Um, Isabella and I revisited this. Um, we played a duo version of it together, um, and it just reminded me of how much I loved it. And I hope, I hope you love it half as much as I do.
set change. <laughs> I'm sure you're all very confused right now. <laughs> uh, is this going to be enough? Yes, I think we can stretch it out. Yes. This is very long and it has no rests. <laughs> Are we gonna? Okay. <laughs> you don't want that last? Okay. Do we? Oh, there's a page hanging off the end. <laughs> Fancy overlay, and I'm gonna take it off. Okay. Forty <laughs> percent. Uh, so this is another piece by Astor Piazzolla, um, a, a piece called the Libertango that has been uh, arranged for two flutes. Uh, this was a piece that Isabella and I performed together. We used to do duos at the end of our uh, at the end of our lessons, just so that I could get used to playing with other people and not just with myself. Uh, this was one of the one of our favorites, and um, it it has some percussive effects, which yeah. is why there's a big piece of wood underneath <laughs> my feet right now. All right, I think we'll have to start off the yeah. Okay.
so I have one last piece today, um, but before I play this, uh, I just have a few people I need to thank. Um, first of all, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, also, Eleanor, who had to dash, um, and Kaylee, who's been uh, who's been watching the door and helped help us set up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you to the church for hosting me. Um, this is a, a wonderful space. Uh, very, very nice acoustics. I really enjoy playing here. Um, and last but not least, Alley. Um, <laughs> so Alley is um, my current teacher, uh, and she knew Isabella very well. Um, they were best friends. They played together a lot. And a few weeks before she died, to Alley and asked if she would take me on as a student. And Alley had more than enough students, but she still said yes. <laughs> and I'm I'm really lucky that she did. Thank you. I think I've done enough talking. Um, this last piece uh, is another one by Ian Clark. Um, a modern piece that has uh, a lot of extended techniques, sort of the weird stuff. Um, but it's a very, very pretty piece. Ian Clark makes very pretty music, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. This is Orange Dawn. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Had to have one. Okay. <laughs>
Thank you.